Welcome back to Undertale. Can I just say again how much I love this music? It's so good. Alright, before I follow Toriel into this building up here, I want to see if there's any secrets around the corners. Maybe like a button on the wall that I can't see? Hmm? Hmm? Nope. No secrets. What does that sign say? Oh, I can't read it. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. That's why she was asking me about the butterscotch and cinnamon. Although, hmm. I wonder, if I said that I preferred butterscotch, would it have just been butterscotch and no cinnamon? I said I preferred cinnamon, and she made it cinnamon and butterscotch. Does it have to have the butterscotch? One must wonder. One must wonder forever, for I will never have this answer unless someone else has played the game and has chosen butterscotch over cinnamon. If you did, please tell me, I really want to know. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. You. Yeah, butterscotch cinnamon sounds a lot more pleasant than snail pie. Snail pie sounds... slimy. Here, I have another surprise for you. Toriel's so sweet. Although I get the feeling she's gonna try to cook me in a pot and eat me or something. Like, maybe she's secretly a witch. Also, I really want to not follow her right now. Would it be weird if I called her right now? This is Toriel. You wanna say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? Well, she didn't seem to think it was weird. <sighs> Alright, this once I'll actually follow her. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Uh oh. Hope the pie isn't burning. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Huh. There's no painting. It's just a frame, I guess? Or perhaps it's a painting of a solid color. Let's check out my room. Whoa, the color's intense in here. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> no, don't go to sleep! Oh god. What did I do? Huh? Oh! She found me sleeping and she left me the pie. On... the ground which is kind of a weird place to put food, but that's fine. We found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. All HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Hmm? Yeah. About that idea of her being like a witch who wants to eat me. She has a bunch of kids' shoes in all sorts of different sizes. Is this her room? If it is, she's not in bed. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most... Oh, I still forget how to say that word. Sundar? Sundare? Something like that. Truly the most Sundare of plants. <laughs> Prickly. Just a regular old bucket. Of snails. Ew. It's Toriel's diary. 
Read the circled passage? <laughs> Absolutely. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <clears throat> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a simil similar caliber. <laughs> Jesus, that's so cheesy. Oh, Toriel. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> uh, colloquial names. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <gasps> wow, she has that many socks? That's a big drawer for socks. I wonder if I can sleep in her bed. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. True, that is a pretty large bed. Oh, it's a water sausage. I was just thinking, now that I read the book, does that mean these are water sausages? Apparently. Can you fry them up and eat them? Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Hmm. Oh, it's a mirror. It's you! Let's check out the rest of the house. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Why does she have no paintings? All the painting frames are just empty. It's so strange. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Oh, there she is. God, Toriel's so lovely. Like, sweet motherly character. Aw. I'm gonna go downstairs before I talk to her. Whoa. This just got ominous. The pleasant music stopped. What's down here? Oh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Hmm... I see. There's something in the basement. Well, let's play by her rules for now and see if we can find time to go down there. Maybe at night when she's sleeping. Although, is it nighttime right now? Let's go check. Uh, I really can't tell. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. The, um, what? Why would you want to? Please don't. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. 
Oh, did you want something? What is it? She seems so sweet, but yeah, I'm pretty sure she wants to murder me. But for now, she seems sweet. Hmm, nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Oh, there's the rest of the pie. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. That is a big pie. That's a really big pie. Looks like it weighs about as much as me. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. White fur? That's strange. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. I get a feeling some of these things are references to stuff that I don't understand. Hmm, I don't want to ask when I can go home, because I get the feeling she wants me to stay here forever. I mean, she's planning out my entire education, right? Hey, by the way, have you noticed something strange about this house? There's no bathroom. See if that does anything. No, it doesn't seem like it. What if she did anything new with her diary? Because the days passed. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Well, I guess we need to ask her when we can go home, or I need to try going downstairs again, but I'm sure she's going to catch me again. Let's try it again. Just to see if she catches me again, and if she says, maybe she'll say something different. Dangerous to play here. She did say something different that time. I'm going to go again. It's drafty here. You'll catch a cold. Hmm. Every time a different excuse. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Do they? Chainsaw-like. Chainsaw-like. Is that a hint that I should go get the bucket of snails and use it for something? Mm, apparently not, because I can't touch it. Let's keep talking to her. Okay, I can't say anything more. Whoops. I can't say anything more yet. What if I go to sleep and then come back? Maybe that'll open up a new topic? I don't want to ask her how to leave just yet. Nope, looks like that's it. Alright. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Oh god. Hmm. Why do I feel like she plays nice until they want to leave and then she murders them before they can leave? I'm going into the basement right now. Oh. She's going into the basement. You wish to know how to return home. Do you not? 
Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Oh god. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Okay, I don't think she is evil. I think she is just worried. Still, though, I can't just stay. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I went back to my room. Would that be the end of the game? No, I'm not going back. Sorry, I'm not. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Okay. Let's do it. Toriel blocks the way. Let's... let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. Well, that's not very effective! Oh, Jesus. Toriel is acting aloof. Let's try to talk again. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Ah. Whew, okay. Toriel looks through you. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Hmm, I don't believe you. I'm gonna keep, keep trying to dock. Okay, maybe it really isn't the solution. Oh god, Toho skills. Alright, I still can't do any of these. Do I have to fight? Wait a minute. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Isn't she the one that said... I don't know if it was her or something else, but didn't didn't she or something or somebody else say that um, if you can spare or flee, it'll show up as yellow, like her name will show up as yellow, confirming that you can you can do it. But sometimes you need to do it even when it doesn't show up as yellow. So maybe that's it. Maybe I can just do it right now. Nope. Takes a deep breath. I'm not gonna fight. I'm not gonna fight. I'm gonna spare again. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. Prepares a magical attack. Hmm. I don't believe you. However, I should probably eat something. I'll wait until I take a little bit more damage. Let's try to talk again. No, it really seems like talking is not the way to go. Oops. That wasn't where I should have gone. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, actually, showing mercy I think is it. Hold on, I'll explain why in a second. Okay, almost died there. Let's take the spider cider. There we go, maxed out. Okay, so when I showed mercy, every time I show mercy, there's more, uh, there's more ellipses, more periods on the dialogue that she says. I think I just need to keep showing mercy.
now there's a question mark. Yep, it's doing something. This one's really hard to avoid. Oh. What are you doing? Showing mercy. Oh no. That attack is really hard. No, I certainly can't give up just yet. Uh? <laughs> stay determined, uh? Uh, stay determined, uh? What happens? I wonder, what does that do? Does it actually bring me back to my save point? It does! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get back to where I was, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. I'm just going to keep showing her mercy. Oh god. Oh! Should I heal now at 10 health? Mmm. Not yet. Whew. Now should I heal? I feel like I should. I'm gonna heal. Let's take the spider cider. Just in case. How did I avoid that? Attack or run away? No. I refuse. Oh god, I got hit three times. I've gotta heal again, I've gotta eat the pie. Ah, oh, come on, stop getting hit. Oh. Alright. What are you proving this way? That I listen to you. That's what I'm proving. Fight me or leave. No. Come on, come on. Shit. Oh my god, I can only- if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. Stop it. Oh god. Oh no, don't get hit! Okay, oh, those actually didn't do as much damage. Okay. Come on, please. Stop looking at me that way. This is so hard! Ugh. Takes a deep breath. It's working, it's working, it's working. Go away. No! Is it working? No, I'm not sure. But it seems like the projectiles are actually moving away from me now. Yeah. Yeah, the projectiles are moving away from me. She's not even she's not even trying anymore. That's so interesting. Really, it's it's really interesting what's going on. Actually, so the game is not just having her, you know, talk like it's not just expressing Toriel's character and how like she's sad and she's not really trying to attack me. It's not just expressing it through her words, but it's expressing it through her attacks. She's not even trying. I can't even get in anymore. The projectiles just go around me because she doesn't want to hurt me. That's really cool. That's really smart. Like, that's really smart design. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. <sighs> no. I promise I'll take good care of you here. She probably would. She probably would take good care of me. I know we do not have much, but... 
We could have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. She's laughing? <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? Cannot save even a single child. Oh. <laughs> no. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child. I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goodbye, my child. Oh, this is so sad. I feel so bad for her. She's so sweet. I wonder what would happen if I went back now. I'm not going back, though. I can't. It's getting brighter and brighter. Hey. I remember you. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that flower? Anything off to the sides? Nope. how thick these woods are. And that droning sound. Feels very unpleasant out here. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Hmm? What does that mean? You mean like somebody's filming me? Hey, do I still have a cell phone? Whoa, I do. Uh huh. Can I still call her? Hmm. 
Nobody picked up. Hmm. I guess she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> it's been smashed like it was nothing. <laughs> Something's chasing me. human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. That is an A, right? I believe so. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for your humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother. Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate, uh, this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Wow, that is very convenient. What's up, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> uh, okay, you can come out now. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. You gotta get going. He might come back. <laughs> 
And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Can I take it with me? Could be handy to have. Just plop it down somewhere, sit behind it. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. <laughs> it's a hot dog stand. Or it used to be. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Uh, don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Um, isn't he going to try to capture me? I don't know, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Am I supposed to go back? Back to Sands? Hmm, let's go to the right. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Thank you, box lover. Ooh, there's a tough glove. Tough glove. Open tag five. A warm pink leather glove for five fingered folk. Hmm. I don't think I have a use for that. I guess I'll put it in the box. In fact, I don't have a use for any weapons. Because I'm not going to attack people. <gasps> well, what are you? Snowdrake flutters forth. What would Snowdrake like? Heckle, joke, or laugh? Hmm. Let's make a joke. You make a bad ice pun. <laughs> nice try. Aw. It smells like a wet pillow. What the heck does a wet pillow smell like? Hmm. Let's just try laughing. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? That didn't seem to do anything, I guess. Heckle? You tell the Snowdrake that they aren't funny. Insults towards humans. <laughs> oh, I got hit. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Okay, so they're like a comedian. Keep heckling. You boo the snowdrake. This won't be funny either. Snowdrake realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. <laughs> ah, I still haven't done enough to defeat it. This one's hard. Keep heckling? I guess keep heckling. Boo the snowdrake. Is your flesh rotten as you? Ew. Realized its own name is a pun and is freaking out. Alright, so it's not advancing. So I need to do something else. So heckle it twice and then... Make a joke? Make a bad ice pun? Is that supposed to be funny? Well, yes. Mmm, didn't seem to do anything. So I guess my, uh, I guess laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake before he says anything funny. Hmm. I'm 
I'm not quite sure what to do. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. I've joked, I've laughed, and I've heckled, and it doesn't seem to change anything. Well, I guess I can just try sparing. Better not snow, <laughs> better snow flake out. Ha ha. Smiling at its own bad joke. Okay, so I guess I need to heckle twice and then, like, try to spare it. Then heckle again. Tell a snow drake that they aren't funny. Let's we'll see if that does something. Mm, realize its own name is a pun. God, I don't know what to do. I guess we try showing mercy again. We need to do something with this bad joke. Oh, God. I really need to heal. Oh, wait, I don't have any healing items. <laughs> well, in that case... I could try to spare it again. I tried heckling again. That doesn't work. Do I laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs! Dad was wrong! Oh, I think that's what you do. Is pleased with its cool joke. There we go! So you gotta heckle it, try to show it mercy, so then it tells a joke, and then you actually laugh, and then it's happy. You won. Zero XP and 12 gold. <laughs> that's so cool. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.